fifth place, excuse me, uh, into our loser semis of Mr. Ian Melly. Let's the get it done. The only disappointing part of making fifth place is that you got to share it with somebody else. Yeah, that's fair. This time you're sharing with John Numbers, though, so you don't feel too bad. Oh, no, no, that is a <laughs> very respectable placing. But anyway, Mr. E here, starting off not on the best foots. Melly haven't set things up. And, you know, Town and City, not a bad choice for either character, but this is a lot of space for Melly to set up a lot of projectiles. In the same vein, though, because you have so much space, the more linear nature of the projectiles from Belmont, where Cross is only going horizontal, you're only going down forward with the holy water, etc., etc. This gives you a lot of space to retreat as well. Wow, that roll was scouted, scouted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Jeez. What are you spot dodging? Can't skip ledge like that against someone like Belmont. I know going to ledge is so scary because their ledge trapping is so good but trying to skip it is only going to get you caught by that Vampire Killer. Yeah, every time you just don't want to deal with Holy Water Bowl, guess what, that's the matchup. It's tough, right? Like When it comes to like this level of play, you always want to try and skip steps, like Mr. E just tried there. Like, All right, I'm going to force my way back onto stage with a downer. But sometimes against Belmonts, it's best to just take it slow, and understand that this is the position that they're strong in, but it's a mix-up base position. Wow, double holy water wow. and Melly looking so dominant. And while those mix-up base positions might be worth playing every now and again just to try and keep your keep your head on, sometimes they got it. Sometimes they're in your head. <laughs> oh, Mr. E just needs to slow this down, try not to approach, but what do you do when they're just kind of setting up camp there? Honestly, might as well just wait. This is Town and City. It'll be a different layout in about 20 seconds. Yeah, you can't force anything if you're Mr. E, but also you do have to make something happen when you are in a strong position like that. Forcing Melly off stage yet again. It's no edge guard though. The whip recovery in particular, so good at avoiding uh, Lucina style edge guards with those drop zone back airs after grabbing ledge. There we go. Nice little catch in the holy water off the shield Amazing bounce. presence of mind. Well, it's because every time they've shielded it, it's bounced, and Mystery hasn't gone to catch it. Yeah, it's it's clean, and it's very uh, adept play at a very matchup specific opportunity, and you'll love to see it. Okay, he gets another tomahawk grab. Trying to pressure in the air. Wow, manages to beat out the holy water. Can't fall with the neutral air on platform, though. Can't do anything after that. We go to game two. Yeah, those are the type of positions where you, you see the the pressure that a massive lead like that is going to affect on a player. Like he's got to make plays like that, and just the run and grab. Like you know, you know he's got to do something. This was just kind of sick. I don't, like, right? That was beautiful. That's where you notice mystery was like, I'm I'm so done with this. Give me the holy water. It's like I am. I'll show you what it's like to play against you. Yeah, like. You need something to happen there. You need the grab in order to throw off stage to put Belmont in a position of weakness, but Melee just easily jumping over that, knowing that getting into center stage is the most safe place that a Belmont can be to maintain and hold their lead. See if Mr. E is able to get off to a better start here in game number two for the chance to play against Goober 707. I mean, Mr. E is feeling a little tired. Maybe they got to stop the late night streaming. Get, full, uh, get a full eight hours. Shout out to Empire Gaming. But listen, it's hard to maintain a schedule like this. I don't know how he does it. Between the streaming, between the sponsorships, between college and the gym. Uh, how does he do it? He's living. He's living his best life. Ooh. That was clean. Melly going to find that reversal in order to get some damage of his own. But that's the, the beauty of the Smashville platform, or the, the Hollow Bastion platform, rather. It's okay, it's Smashville platform plus. Yeah, it's the same thing. Quite literally the same thing, but on a different stage. It feels different. It's got little stained glass. It's cute. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Ooh, the run under there in order to find the side reversal, and then the follow-up off of that back air. Man, Melly's playing so well today. I'll finally get that timing for the grab armor. 
And that's what you have to do in this matchup. Sometimes you just have to walk up and shield. Walk up, shield. Is that the best way to play? Yeah, but it can be boring. Sometimes characters force that, though. It's like, all right, we'll play like this. Just where... like your favorite character, Little Mac. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> I saw the fun of Little Mac a little earlier. I was like, damn. Why you got to take the fun out of, from, of the game? <laughs> <laughs> Little Mac is fun. Just ask Peanuts. Mm. Eh. Well, well, a discussion for another time. Oh, right. that air dodge was huge in order to find the catch, but no forward smash after. <laughs> so tough. See Mr. E just looking for those minute openings that Melly's offering, but... It's, it's the one thing he doesn't want to do is go to Legend. You can see it. He's just so frustrated every time because the Holy Water is there, and it's like he knows what to do. He's got to hold it or he's got to roll. It's one or the other. It's all coverage all the time on the part of Melly, who's just limiting options to perfection. Like This is the Belmont game plan in full effect against a character that doesn't really have a ton to do about it. I think Mr. E just has to stop jumping. Really just kind of walk and shield. Take this. Exclamation point, Melly. <laughs> oh, we got to make that a command. It is a command. You can see it in the chat right now. Someone in chat, do it. I'm waiting. Meanwhile, Mr. E, who is also waiting for that rolling, but man, still no stock. No punish. He may be going to be going for a shield break. No, instead the tech chase into the down smash. Clean stuff. There it is. <laughs> Take this. All right. We'll same type. One more to the counter. Same type of position, but oh, even better damage. The falling up air comp. Oh wow. Oh god. That's a regrab. No, never mind. Ooh, the sliding forward tilt back. All right, good double jump. Using that floatiness to their advantage. Forward tilt should do it here. Yeah. yeah. Now, Mr. E can still do this. We've seen him come back from more difficult positions. But he has to play this way more patiently. Yeah. Belmonts are always a character that operate on soap bubble theory, where they're so, so strong. In soap bubble? Soap bubble theory. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, quite literally, one touch and they're gone. Sometimes oh. you can just find that one hit, the, the taking a jump in a weird spot, or finding an edge guard that can pop the bubble. But. It's just a lot harder for Lucina to do that in some ways because of her more tempered neutral. And Melly has a lot of means in order to gain some extra credit here. He playing this final stock really well, integrating a lot of falling up airs into their kit for extra safety, but every little bit of damage gets so, so scary. But oh, this is good. Juggling Melly. Oh, I don't think like they, they have a jump. Back. No, they always have a jump. Yeah, that was the tether. Yeah, that tether was just reaching so far. It makes Mr. E have to put out a button early to catch the tether, and it just... Oh, no, tough. and that's it! Not no! Quite. Still jump. surviving. But for how long? Oh, my God, the weak. Uh, again. Again. Do it again. What do we do? Do we roll? Nope. No. Again. Ooh. Again. God, there's nothing he can do. Okay, neutral get up. Survive. Just because Melee missed space the holy water. Ever so slight. The, the space, the slight spacing matters, but man, what was he taking? It was like 60% throughout that ledge trap, and now Melly's stage trapping him, just throwing the holy water off stage and resetting his ledge invincibility. I think Mr. E was just hoping to grab the holy water again, and just to make it back a fair, not enough to kill, even at 171. Expecting the tether yet again. Are we in, we might be in up throw kill percentages. It. Ooh, no. Oh, we're definitely in up throw kill percentages for uh, Lucina if you're able to find a throw, but just getting back onto stage is the hard part. Mr. B with the nod of the head, well played on both parts, but sometimes some characters just don't have a lot of mobility or X factor to get around a pure reaction ledge trap that Melee was showing off. He has, Mr. E has been kind of uh, mulling a little bit now and then. Not a switch to Aegis, but having an Aegis in the pocket to get Your kind character. of through matchups like this, where it's like, it's projectile heavy, I don't really have a lot of options, and if I whiff, I'm going to be punished heavily. You know, where someone like Aegis has, you know, better burst options, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that's where I feel like so many characters, uh, with like a very few exceptions, are at such a home where they can be a 
powerful, powerful counterpick option mm -hmm. or a powerful main that has a strong secondary. And Aegis can fill both of those roles. You can main the character and do a lot with them, but have counterpicks for a, some really tough matchups.